Right, let's have a look now. Okay. For the following exercises, determine where the local and absolute max and min occur on each graph. Assume the graph represents the entirety of each function. So what do we want? Uh, local and absolute. Okay, I'll have to zoom in possibly, or maybe I can just open up some paper here. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Local max is minus one ten, I guess. Um, local min minus three minus forty. Um, can't tell what's going on here. It looks kind of flat. Um, this is also a global as well. And then the global max looks like it's, I don't know, minus three and a half and 60. Tell if this is a local minimum or not. I, I think there might be another max, maybe at one and a half one or one one. Maybe it's one one. I can't tell. It's too small. Okay. Okay, let's see. Global max. Oh, I don't know. Minus two. Point two and ten, and then local max um, minus one five, uh, two six, and then local min uh, one three, global min. Uh, 2.4 minus 20. These graphs are really hard to read. Oh, come on. Okay. Global max 3 1. Global main uh, minus 2.5 minus 1. Um, Local max minus two zero point seven one zero point four. Uh, can't tell what's going on here, and then local min minus one minus zero point two five two minus zero point six. Ooh. Global max um, uh, there's two uh, plus or minus two point four and one um, and then global min plus or minus two and minus one local max plus or minus one and i don't know 0 0.25 man i don't know let's see 100 to 103 100 to 103 absolute minimum at three 
Uh, is that a tr is that a tree? Oh yeah, sorry. Why did I say um two point four? I should have been looking here. Global minimum a tree. Um, or absolute. I've been calling it global. Um, at minus two point two. That's okay. Uh, and then locals at minus two and minus one. Minus two. Oh, I missed this one. Minus two and um, minus 12. And uh, max minus one five. Minus one and two. Minus one and two. And then minus two and one. Yeah, okay. Now I have them all. One, two, three. So I have three. Well, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, two, six. Yeah, okay, let's see now, 103. Minus two and two for the global minimums. Yep. Uh, maximum 2.5 and 2.5? I said 2.4, okay, 2.5, yep. Okay, and local minimum at zero and minus one, one. Yeah, so I guess there's a little minimum here. I couldn't quite tell what was going on here. Zero, zero point two. So let's just double check a hundred um, local max minus one ten. I think that looks okay. Then local minimum minus three. Yeah, and that's also a global and the global max. Okay, and then, um, mm, 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 mm. and I can't tell if this is curving down or up, so I'm unsure about that one. Okay, global max at three one, that looks okay. Global minimum, now that's a mistake. I misread it. Minus three, minus one. Okay, that looks okay now. A local max at minus two and at one. And minimums at minus one and two. Okay, I think that's okay. A bit messy. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah. So we'll start on a new page next time. Okay. Thanks for watching.